Scandinavian currencies, good morning. This week, uh, for the first time since we initiated these Euro Investor FX talks, we are actually going neutral on both the Norwegian and the Swedish. Last week, we saw the Norwegian Central Bank, to somewhat to a surprise, came out and said, we are very concerned about the Norwegian kroner. And despite the fact we don't feel the economic uh, fundamentals are in place, we will now lower the interest rate. So they lower the interest rate in order to tell the market and facilitate a weakening of the Norwegian kroner. Historically, you have to acknowledge what the Norwegian Central Bank. I have personally been fighting the Norwegian Central Bank several times in the last 20 years. And unfortunately, they have been the winner every single time. It doesn't change the fact that Norwegian kroner remains our favorite currency for all of 2012 and going forward. It is a fundamentally, structurally sound economy if you take away, of course, the housing bubble. But apart from the housing bubble, it's, a, it's a external surpluses. It has a strong uh, oil economy and it, it looks very, very positive. But for now, we want you to be slightly neutral in this currency. We don't want you to be short in Norwegian Krona, but we want to find better levels to buy the Norwegian Krona again, because we think, listen to the Norwegian Central Bank uh, as they state to you that they don't seem to be wanting a stronger Norwegian Krona. As for the Swedish Krona, we are in the same situation. They've been seeing the, uh, a relatively strong performance when you consider the economic backdrop. The economic backdrop being that we think that inside this quarter or next quarter will be the low of the economic cycle for Europe. Sweden is a, a, a small open economy, as we economists call it, meaning that they have a relatively high ratio of export sector to the GDP. So if you and if we are right about the economies in Europe uh, hitting a trial, then unfortunately will also mean that some of the tailwind that Sweden has been seeing will come off. That has also been seen in the recent numbers where we've seen productivity, we've seen production, and we've seen unemployment rising uh, slightly. So again, be defensive, not because we want to be negative on Swedish, but we could see the high end of the range uh, since December, meaning uh, the high uh, 90s in terms of the euro uh, and, and, you know, But find the levels, be patient. Uh, unfortunately, not a very proactive idea, but in itself, we think go to neutral, await better levels. Also, because we think the equity market is starting to look slightly tired relatively to the very good performance we've seen so far this year. Thank you.